often get asked about nuclear and gas. Let me start with nuclear. Nuclear will play a role, but there are some practical limitations. Remember, on a national level, we expect we are going to need to add 900 gigawatts of new generation to the grid by 2040. There are only a few nuclear plants that can be recommissioned in an economic way. We are currently evaluating the recommissioning of our Dwayne Arnold nuclear plant in Iowa as one example. But even with a 100% success rate on those recommissionings, we would still only meet less than 1% of that demand. Existing merchant nuclear generation is also limited in its ability to meet that demand given there are only approximately 20 merchant nuclear plants in this country. That nuclear capacity is also not evenly spread across the U.S. and is not in many places. We know hyperscalers are looking to develop data centers or manufacturing, manufacturers are looking to expand their footprint. For example, there are only two merchant nuclear plants west of the Mississippi. Nuclear plants across the country are already serving existing demand. So even if they are contracted by specific customers, new resources need to be built to meet new demand. And alternatives such as new utility scale nuclear and SMRs are unproven, expensive, and again, not expected to be commercially viable at scale, scale until the latter part of the next decade. Last quick question, just on the Dwayne Arnold, is there any uh, milestones or key steps that we should be watching out for on uh, that opportunity? Yeah, so, you know, we are very busy looking at um, Dwayne Arnold. Um, we're very interested in, in recommissioning the plant. We're doing all the things right now that you would expect us to do. We're doing all, all the assessments, which includes engineering assessments, includes working with the NRC, it includes working with local stakeholders. Uh, uh, so we are, we are, you know, continuing to um, advance that, that project. And there obviously, it goes without saying, there's very strong interest from customers, uh, really data center customers in particular, uh, around, around that site. But we will, we will keep all of you posted uh, as our evaluation progresses. Morning. Just on Steve's question on, on Dwayne Arnold, I guess, John, any sort of sense on the cost to restart that plant and other structural items we should be thinking about as you approach a decision? And ultimately, if you strike a contract with a counterparty, is this an asset you'd want to own over the long term, or could that be a monetization opportunity as we're thinking about your kind of ongoing balance sheet needs? Thanks. Yeah, sure. I'll start with the first one, then go to the second. So, uh, I'm not going to give you a cost number yet because that's that's part of the evaluation that we're going through currently. Um, remember, this is a BWR boiling water reactor. They are a lot less complex um, to bring back and to recommission. It's a simpler design because they don't have a a steam gen, uh, steam generator, um, you know, like uh, like PWRs uh, do. And so uh, that gives us, you know, optimism, you know, at, at being able to do this at an attractive price and be able to execute it without as much risk that might be associated with recommissioning a plant that, um, you know, is, uh, does not have a boiling water reactor, but, um, you know, is a, is a PWR design. On the second question, uh, our desire to own versus monetize, uh, you know, for us, look, I mean, this is be a very attractive asset to own. Um, you know, we would hope to be able to get an attractive PPA, and you know this was this would be a long-term asset that I think would fit nicely in our portfolio.